Hello, and welcome back to my YouTube channel, where you may watch videos about criminology for remote learning activities in the time of pandemic. In this video, divisions in the study of criminology will be discussed. It will also include principal divisions in the study of criminology. Furthermore, this will present the scope of the study of criminology. Studying criminology, its division and coverage. First for you to have a background on the people engage in studying crimes and criminals, allow me to define criminologists. Criminologists are the people working and researching the crime and society's response to crime. Some criminologists examine the behavioral patterns of possible criminals. Generally, criminologists conduct research and investigations, developing theories and analyzing empirical patterns. The interests of criminologists include the study of the nature of crime and criminals, origins of criminal law, etiology of crime, the social reaction to crime, and the functioning of law enforcement agencies and penal institutions. It can be broadly said that criminology directs its inquiries along three lines. First, it investigates the nature of criminal law and its administration and conditions under which it develops. Second, it analyzes the causation of crime and the personality of criminals, and third, it studies the control of crime and the rehabilitation of offenders. Thus, criminology includes within its scope the activities of legislative bodies, law enforcement agencies, judicial institutions, correctional institutions, and educational, private, and public social agencies. Criminologists are social scientists who utilize the research methods of modern science to develop a body of general, verifiable principles regarding law, deviance, and crime. Criminological analysis looks upon crime and deviance not as isolated events but as highly complex forms of social behavior. To fully understand the meaning of deviance and crime, the discipline goes beyond the legal definitions of crime and examines the total social context within which deviance and lawlessness arise. In the process of studying the causes of crime, a vast body of research has identified age, gender, ethnicity, social class, family status, and community environments as major social correlates of crime. Scope of the study of criminology 1 Criminal behavior or criminal etiology 2 Sociology of law 3 Penology or correction 4 Criminalistics or forensic science 1. Criminal behavior or criminal etiology, is the scientific analysis of the causes of crime, study of the causes of crimes and development of criminals, or knows as their, making of laws. 2. Sociology of law is the study of law and its application, which examines how laws are made and enforced, study of the origin and development of criminal laws, or the, breaking of laws. 3. Penology or correction, is the study that deals with punishment and the treatment of criminals, which addresses society's response to crime and includes the study of the criminal justice system, or the, reaction towards breaking of laws. Four. Criminalistics or forensic science, one more area of concern in crime detection and investigation. Furthermore, criminology includes the study of the different factors that enhances as a criminal sociology studying the effects of social conditions on crime and criminals, including the machinery of justice and the evolution of criminal law and punishment. B. Criminal psychiatry studying human mind in relation to criminality. C. Criminal ecology the study of criminality in relation to spatial distribution on the community. D. Criminal demography the study of the relationship between criminology and population. E. Criminal epidemiology the study of the relationship between environment and criminality. F. Criminal anthropology the study of criminality in relation to physical constitution of humans. G. Victimology studying the role of the victim in the commission crime. Object of interest in criminology What are the object of interest in criminology, really? There are three areas which includes in the studying criminology namely, 1. The crime 2. The criminal 3. The correction, 
penology. This object of interest will be explained further in this presentation. 1. Crime. Inasmuch as the definition of crime is concerned, many fields of study like law, sociology and psychology have their respective emphasis on what crime is. Crime have different definition and classification. Crime may be defined as, it can be defined as an act or omission in violation of a criminal law in its legal point of view, an antisocial act, an act that is injurious, detrimental or harmful to the norms of society, they are the unacceptable acts in its social definition, psychologically, crime is an act, which is considered undesirable due to behavioral maladjustment of the offender, acts that are caused by maladaptive or abnormal behaviors, while this definition depict what is crime is, Crime is also a generic name that refers to offense, felony and delinquency or misdemeanor. Each of this classification will be discussed as follows. 1. According to law violated 2. According to the manner of committing crime. 3. According to the stages in the commission. 4. According to the nature of the act. 1. According to law violated, this types of crimes is classified according to laws which impose punishment for the criminal act, and classified as offense, felonies and, delinquency, misdemeanor. Offense, is defined as an act or omission that is punishable by special laws, a special law is a statute enacted by Congress, penal in character, which is not an amendment to the revised penal code, such as Republic Acts, Presidential Decrees, executive orders, memorandum circulars, ordinances and rules and regulations, Reyes, 1960. While the felony can be defined or classified as an act or mission that is punishable by the revised penal code, the criminal law in the Philippines, Reyes, 1960. Elements of a felony. 1. There must be an act or omission. Actions were performed. 2. The act of omission must be voluntary. It means free will is exercised by the actor. 3. It must be punishable by law. Certain law or ordinance provides sanctions to the act performed. On the other hand, delinquency, misdemeanor, acts that are in violation of simple rules and regulations usually referring to acts committed by minor offenders. Furthermore, there are many classifications of crimes that vary depending on where they are applied namely criminological classification of crime and legal classification of crimes. These topics will also be discussed in the later part of this video. For now let us go back to the types of crimes according to the manner of committing it. a. By means of dolo or deceit, if the crime is committed with deliberate intent. Thus, it is called intentional felonies. Intentional felonies somehow are characterized by, freedom or voluntariness of the criminal to do the act, intelligence, the doer is aware of the act and with, intent the circumstance that pushes the person to perform the criminal act. b. By means of culpa or fault, if the felony is committed by means of culpa, fault, the act or omission of the offender is not malicious and the injury caused by the offender is unintentional, it is simply act performed without malice. Culpa has also two classifications, 1. Negligence or, lack of skill, 2. Imprudence or, lack of foresight, negligence, lack of skill. In criminal law, criminal negligence is a surrogate of mens rea, Latin for guilty mind, required to constitute a conventional as opposed to strict liability of offense. It is not, strictly speaking, a mens rea because it refers to an objective standard of behavior expected of the defendant and does not refer to their mental state. Imprudence, lack of foresight, reckless imprudence generally defined by our penal law consists in voluntarily but without malice, doing or failing to do an act from which material damage results by reason of inexcusable lack of precaution on the part of the person performing or failing to perform such act taking into consideration his employment or occupation, degree of intelligence, physical condition and other circumstances regarding persons, time and place. Imprudence connotes a deficiency of action. It implies a failure in precaution or a failure to take the necessary precaution once the danger or peril becomes foreseen. 3. According to the stages in the Commission, Article 6 Book 1 of the Revised Penal Code of the Philippines the stages in the commission of a crime, RPC, 
are classified into the attempted stage the frustrated stage and consummated a attempted the crime is attempted when the offender commences the commission of a felony directly or overacts and does not perform all the acts of execution which should produce the felony by reason of some cause or accident other than this own spontaneous desistance b frustrated when the offender performs all the acts of execution which would produce the felony as a consequence but which nevertheless do not produce it by reason of causes independent of the will of the perpetrator c consummated when all the elements necessary for its accomplishment and execution are present crimes may also be simple or complex a simple crime is a single act constituting only one offense b complex crime single act constituting two or more grave felonies or a necessary means for committing the other two kinds of complex crime 1 compound crime delito compuesto when the single act forms two or more grave or less grave felonies 2 complex crime proper delito compulo when an offense is a necessary means of committing another offense two kinds of complex crime 1 compound crime delito compuesto when the single act forms two or more grave or less grave felonies 2 complex crime proper delito compulo when an offense is a necessary means of committing another offense felonies may also be determined by its gravity a grave felonies are those to which the law attaches the capital punishment or penalties which in any of their period are afflictive b less grave felonies are those which the law punishes with penalties which in their maximum period are correctional c light felonies are infraction of laws for the commission of which the penalty of resto menor or a fine not exceeding 200 pesos or both is provided another classification of crime is according to the nature of the act under which are crimes mala in se and crimes mala prohibita a crimes mala in se are acts that are inherently evil examples are murder robbery etc b crimes mala prohibita are acts which are prohibited only because there are laws forbidding such acts examples are illegal possession of firearms traffic violations etc now for the next topic is about the criminological classification of crime this classification have different classes which will be presented namely 1 according to the result of the crime 2 according to the time or period of commission 3 according to the length of time of the commission 4 according to place or location 5 according to the use of mental faculties 6 according to the type of offender crimes are classified in order to focus a better understanding on their existence criminologists consider the following as criminological classification of crimes 1 according to the result of the crime acquisitive and extinctive crimes acquisitive crime is one which when committed the offender acquires something as a consequence of his criminal act the crime is extinctive when the result of criminal act is destruction 2 according to the time or period of commission seasonal and situational crimes seasonal crimes are those that are committed only at certain period of the year while situational crimes are those that are committed only when given a situation conducive to its commission 3 according to the length of time of the commission episodic and instant crimes episodic crimes are serial crimes they are committed by series of act within a lengthy space of time instant crimes are those that are committed the shortest possible time 4 according to place or location static and continuing crimes static crimes are crimes that are committed only in one place continuing crime are crimes that are committed in several places 5 according to the use of mental faculties rational and irrational crimes rational crimes are those committed with intent offender is in full possession of his mental faculties slash capabilities while irrational crimes are committed without intent offender does not know the nature of his act 6 according to the type of offender white collar and blue collar crimes white collar crimes are those committed by a person of responsibility and of upper socio-economic class in the course of their occupational activities blue collar crimes are those committed by ordinary professionals to maintain their livelihood 
Upper World and Underworld Crimes Upper world crimes are those committed by individuals belonging to the upper class of society. Underworld crime are committed by members of the lower or underprivileged class of society. Crimes by imitation and crimes by passion. Crimes by imitation are crimes committed by merely duplication of what was done by others. Crimes by passion are crimes committed because of the fit of great emotions. Service crimes. Service crime refers to crimes committed through rendition of a service to satisfy desire of another. Now that you know the criminological classification of crimes, it's time for us to proceed to the legal classification of crimes, under the law, Act. Number. 3815 The Revised Penal Code, Crimes are classified as Crimes against national security and the law of nations, example, treason, espionage, piracy, crimes against the fundamental law of the state, example, arbitrary detention, violation of domicile, crimes against public order, example, rebellion, sedition, coup d'etat, crimes against public interest, example, forgery, falsification, fraud, crimes against public morals, example, gambling and betting offenses against decency and good customs like scandals, obscenity, vagrancy, and prostitution, crimes committed by public officers example, malfeasance and misfeasance, crimes against person example, murder, rape, physical injuries, crimes against properties example, robbery, theft, crimes against personal liberty and security example, illegal detention, kidnapping, trespass to dwelling, threat and coercion, crimes against chastity example, concubinage, adultery, seduction, abduction, acts of lasciviousness, crimes against civil status of persons example, bigamy and other illegal marriages, crimes against honor example, libel, oral defamation, quasi offenses or criminal negligence example, imprudence and negligence all of the example and its elements can be accessed and studied further in the revised penal code of the philippines now for the next object of interest in criminology this section will discuss their criminal on the basis of the definition of crime a criminal may be defined in three ways legal definition is a person who committed a crime and has been convicted by a court of the violation of a criminal law social definition is a person who violated a social norm or one who did an antisocial act. Psychological definition, is a person who violated rules of conduct due to behavioral maladjustment. Criminals are criminologically classified based on the following, a. Etiology b. Behavioral system c. Activities d. Mental attitudes z. Legal classification. The first classification is, a. Based on etiology, acute criminal is one who violates a criminal law because of the impulse or fit of passion. They commit passionate crimes. Chronic criminal is one who commits crime acted in consonance of deliberated thinking. He plans the crime ahead of time. They are the targeted offenders. Next is the criminological classification is based on B. Behavioral system. Ordinary criminal is considered the lowest form of criminal in a criminal career. He doesn't stick to crime as a profession but rather pushed to commit crimes due to great opportunity. Organized criminal is one who associates himself with other criminals to earn a high degree of organization to enable them to commit crimes easily without being detected by authorities. They commit organized crimes. Professional criminal is a person who is engaged in criminal activities with high degree of skill. He is usually one who practices crime as a profession to maintain a living. Next is the criminological classification is based on, c. Activities. Professional criminals are those who practice crime as a profession for a living. Criminal activity is constant in order to earn skill and develop ability in their commission. Accidental criminals are those who commit crimes when the situation is conducive to its commission. Habitual criminals are those who continue to commit crime because of deficiency of intelligence and lack of self-control. Next is the criminological classification is based on, d. Mental attitudes. Active criminals are those who commit crimes due to aggressiveness. Passive inadequate criminals are those who commit crimes because they are pushed to it by reward or promise. 
Socialized delinquents are criminals who are normal in behavior but defective in their socialization process or development. E. Based on legal classification there are two legal classifications namely, habitual delinquent and recidivist. 1. Habitual delinquent is a person who, within a period of 10 years from the date of his release or last conviction of the crimes of serious or less serious physical injuries, robbery, estafa, or falsification, is found guilty of any of the said crimes or a third time oftener. 2. Recidivist is one who, at the time of his trial for one crime, shall have been previously convicted by final judgment of another crime embraced in the same title of the revised penal code. Some of the definitions related to crimes and criminals are also defined in this video. Example, criminal behavior. Crime in its legal definition may constitute an intentional act in violation of the criminal law and penalized by the state a felony, offense or misdemeanor. Criminal behavior, therefore, is an intentional behavior that violates a criminal code. Bartle, 1995. Criminal behavior may also refer to the study of the human conduct focused on the mental processes of the criminal the way he behaves or acts including his activities and the causes and influences of his criminal behavior. Victims of crime Victimology is simply the study of victims of crimes and contributory role, if any, in crime causation. It is also the scientific process of gaining substantial amounts of knowledge on offender characteristics by studying the nature of victims. Schmeledger, 1997 This ends the topics about the criminal. The next object of interest in studying criminology is number, 3. Penology or, correction. Penology This is another object of interest of criminology that deals with punishment of criminal offenders. Punishment is justified by deterrence, retribution, atonement, societal protection, and reformation of criminals. There are also approaches and theories of crimes which explains why criminal behavior exist. The succeeding topics is about the approaches and theories of crime, for the theories of crimes you may access the full video in my channel. For this current video approaches will be discuss. There were two approaches in explaining crimes and criminal behaviors namely, subjective approaches and objective approaches. Subjective approaches deals mainly on the biological explanation of crimes, focused on the forms of abnormalities that exist in the individual criminal before, during and after the commission of the crime. Tradio, 1999. Included under this approach are, 1. Anthropological approach, the study on the physical characteristics of an individual offender with non-offenders in the attempt to discover differences covering criminal behavior. Hutton. 2. Medical approach. The application of medical examinations on the individual criminal explain the mental and physical condition of the individual prior and after the commission of the crime, positivist. 3. Biological approach The evaluation of genetic influences to criminal behavior. It is noted that heredity is one force pushing the criminal to crime, positivist. 4. Physiological approach the study on the nature of human being concerning his physical needs in order to satisfy his wants. It explains that the deprivation of the physical body on the basic needs is an important determinant of the commission of crime, Maslow. 5. Psychological approach, it is concerned about the deprivation of the psychological needs of man which constitute the development of deviations of normal behavior resulting to unpleasant emotions, Freud. Maslow. 6. Psychiatric approach. The explanation of crime through diagnosis of mental diseases as a cause of the criminal behavior. Positivist. 7. Psychoanalytical approach. The explanation of crimes based on the Freudian theory, which traces behavior as the deviation of the repression of the basic drives. Freud. Objective approaches. The objective approaches deal on the study of groups social processes and institutions as influences to behavior. They are primarily derived from social sciences. Tradio, 1999. Under this are, 1. Geographic approach. This approach considers topography, natural resources, geographical location, and climate lead an individual to commit crime. Delet. 2. 
ecological approach, it is concerned with the biotic grouping of men resulting to migration, competition, social discrimination, division of labor and social conflict as factors of crime, Park 3. Economic approach, it deals with the explanation of crime concerning financial security of inadequacy and other necessities to support life as factors to criminality, Merton. 4. Socio-cultural approach, those that focus on the institutions, economic, financial, education, political, and religious influences to crime, Cohen. Now that you have successfully completed the educational video on the scope in the study of criminology, I hope that you learned from the presentation. Good luck. If you have questions about the topic you can post it in the comment box below. This ends the discussion. See you in the next video on the basics of criminal law. Enjoy learning. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button for updates. Have a nice day.